What's your favorite kind of soup? Mm. Mm. Like so uh, Italian wedding is good. I like Italian. Yeah, you like wedding. Italian wedding. Yeah, Italian wedding's good, or like a potato cheese yes, bacon. Yeah, like a cheddar. That sounds good. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, uh, you're going to be in for a treat because you're you're about to hear about if you like broccoli cheddar soup. Mm, that's good too. That's uh, Emerald Lagasse has a really good broccoli cheddar recipe, um, and I recently got a chance to speak to him mm -hmm. about National Soup Month, and he talked about his favorite soup recipes and how to warm up with a trip to Florida what? this winter as well. Emerald is the man. Bam! Here we go. Hi, Norma. How are you today? I'm great. I'm, you, I'm freezing. I bet you you're freezing cold. I'm freezing. We're over here talking about the wind chill. Uh, and I asked yeah, the meteorologist... Do you, have, do you have heat in your studio? <laughs> no, we don't, Emerald. We're we freezing don't either. here. We're always we must freezing. Be, we, must be, we must have the same grandmothers. <laughs> or the same person who controls the heat in both rooms. <laughs> yeah, They're heat miners. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, I'm with you. So all morning long, my hands have just been <laughs> blocks of ice. Uh, it is just bitter cold, no matter where you go in Rochester. Oh, I bet it oh. is cold in Rochester. Yeah, Winchell's negative. It is negative. cold in New York City. Oh. Yeah. We're not negative, but no. I know you guys are. Yeah. So that's why I love the topic, um, soup, because think about it. I mean, on a cold day like today, what... What could be, other than a, a, a heated, electric heated blanket, be more comforting than a hot bowl of soup? Other than being in bed with several blankets yes. over you, yes. the best thing to celebrate today would be not only National Soup Month, but would be a hot bowl of soup. In front of me, I'm making, really from scratch for you, a broccoli and cheese, one of America's favorites. Earlier, I made a Tuscan white bean and broccoli rob soup, or you mm. could use escarole. Tiny bit of lemon zest, a drizzle of olive oil with Parmesan Reggiano cheese, or cream of tomato with grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh, okay, Come you on. Saw, th that's it. That's it. Emerald, how you how, the Ameri nail on the how head. American? Oh, right, ex exactly. And and that's what it is, you know. Norm, I got to tell you, for the second year in a row, I've teamed up with my partner, Snapware, here. Snapware being the awesome food containers, storage containers. You got to store your soup in something. You got to prep your soup in something. And if I'm bringing Norma some soup, <laughs> I have to bring it in something that's reliable, right. that's airtight, right? So Snapware, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, you can get more of the information by just going on their Facebook Snapware page and they'll they'll give you all the information. These recipes okay. will you can get absolutely. What's your favorite soup, Norma? You know, I I tend to like well, you said the the creamy tomato. I love creamy tomato. Um but I love I love broccoli though. Cream of broccoli soup. When you said that, you had me you had me at that. I love cream well, of broccoli. Well, this is how simple it is and this is how simple soups are. A little olive oil, I sauteed onion, garlic and mushrooms for about 6 minutes. I added salt, a little cayenne pepper. If you want to put a bay leaf in there, that's great. If not, you're not going to shake the world. Emmer, why would you add some uh, cayenne, though? Why would you add some cayenne to your soup? Oh, baby, I just need, I need a little warmth <laughs> on a cold day like this. So, basically, I had also a little cracked pepper that I put in there, just, a, you know, a little bit. And then I added just broccoli, just regular broccoli, that I rinsed, I just chopped up, put it in there, as you can see right here, and then basically covered it with chicken broth. If you're a vegetarian, you can use vegetable broth. Let it simmer. That's what we're doing right now. We're going to let it simmer for about 30 minutes, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a handheld blender. Yes. We're going to puree it. I'm going to grate some good old American cheddar cheese. Put that cheddar cheese in there. Mm. Oh, can't wait, Norma. <laughs> sound like the, the it's it doesn't sound like this is that really kind of um it, it's too creamy like there's a there's a bit of a brothy consistency right or does it get kind of that well, thick, creamy consistency well you it, it's gonna get no you can cream in if you want you could add a little bit of cream okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go creamless today okay, okay. with the broccoli cheddar uh i'm just gonna go stock base whether again whether it's if you're vegetarian just use vegetable stock or i, I like the chicken broth in there I'm going to just go all natural. I'm not even going to cream it. But adding cream, Norma, gives it that little velvety taste, you know. You don't have to add a lot to it. It just gives it that little texture and that little taste that makes it even more delicious. Maybe I will add a little bit of cream, just I, for you. Oh. <laughs>
So this is Emerald. He's talking about, you know, he's going to bring me some soup. Talk's a good game, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, part two of my interview with him coming up around 840. Hear what he says about his first memories of soup as a child. Emerald is not just making soup. He is making a memory. Yeah. And he's also making up a new name for you. How do you spell that? N-O-H-M-A. Norma. Norma. Oh, Norma. 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 <laughs> he's entertaining this morning. He is. Hmm.